Good kill, good kill. Hey, good kill. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are in the A10 Warthog, as many of you can see. We won't be doing a lot of air-to-air -to -air today. We're going to be focusing on air-to-ground, which is, of course, new for me. Look down there. We got uh, troops in contact with a lot of small arms fire down there. Now, we are in support of coalition forces entering the city here in Iraq. And our objective is to provide air support. There's a lot of small arms fire, very inaccurate. But it looks like we have a couple of Bradleys who've pushed up a little too far and they're taking a hell lot of fire. So what I'm going to do is do a little show of force with a 2,000 pound bomb. That's what I have selected. Nothing like a 2,000 pound bomb for a good show of force. Those guys are taking a lot of fire. Luckily, very inaccurate. And uh, we're going to see if we can put an end to that. Hold on. There's the CCIP. Uh, continuously computed impact point. Pickle. And that bomb is away. And let's see what the effect on target was. A boom. Right in the middle. And <laughs> hey, look at this. Immediately the tracer fire stops. <laughs> Immediately stops. Alright, you're welcome to that Bradley group there. Now I did see what I believe to be a tank firing near that position as well from the corner of this other little village area. So I'm going to come back around and see if we can find that guy. Take him out also. Alright, so I found him with the TGP. I'm going to go ahead and select him, do a point track, and then hold on, set as SPI, sensor point of interest. And there it is. Got him. Wait, got him. Okay. And we're going to have to come back around and hit him with a Maverick. Alright. Get a nose on this guy. Uh, Maverick is on the left MFD. And so Maverick is now slewed to the sensor point of interest. You can see the Maverick Seeker sees him. Rifle. And that should hit him. Theoretically, assuming I did everything right, which I think I did. You should see a big explosion. Three, two, there it is. <laughs> All right. Now, of course, I'm doing a lot of learning when it comes to the A-10 Warthog. I've long wanted to do a video like this, but I just didn't have the skills in the Warthog, didn't know how things worked. Not to say I have the skills now, I still have no idea what I'm doing, but at least I know how to, you know, work the weapon systems and the countermeasures and, you know, stuff like that that would be important to do something like this. Um, I see... I thought I saw some fire from here. There it is. Look at this. There, yeah, there he is. Look at that little tank right on the corner there. Thinks nobody can see him. We'll set him as a point, an area track, and a sensor point of interest. SPI. And let's level out here. We'll slew the Maverick over. Slave the Maverick Seeker to the sensor point of interest which is where the TGP is looking. You can see the Maverick sees him. Rifle for me. And that should hit him. Mavericks are pretty cool, man. <laughs> they make things a lot easier. Come on, hopefully that hits him. I'm pretty sure I have him. The Maverick saw him and not the building beside him. But I am slightly doubting what the Maverick was locked onto. Oh, yeah, that's not good. 
That's not what I meant to do. That house is definitely empty. Okay, civilians have been told to leave this area. I didn't just blow up somebody's house. That's not what just happened. That's not what you saw. <laughs> Alright, let's do a gun run on this guy. I'm coming for guns. Nice. Good hits. I hit him, but I, uh, I don't know if he died. Uh, he definitely got his bell rung with all that 30 millimeter. <laughs> Lots of uh, tracer fire. Triple A. Definitely they're not happy about me being here. And uh, oh, we got some triple A from this side as well. Uh, quite a lot of it, actually. That can't be good. We're not going to allow that. We're going to have to come back around and clear out this little pocket. Look at that. All kinds of tracer fire coming out of there. Altitude, altitude. That cannot be allowed to stand. Those guys are going to provide a decent amount of resistance to our forces pushing forward, so we're going to have to clear that out. Alright. Come back around get eyes on that position that little pocket in the middle there look like a little park or something full of like BMPs and tanks and stuff I think you can see we got a bunch of tanks killed in the open as well but none of the armor has spotted the guys in here and uh, oh, I see him he's right there hello whoops there we go there we go point of interest and sensor point of interest. And we'll go ahead and turn in. Yeah, we gotta get the uh, Maverick to look at him. Maverick sees him. And rifle. And theoretically, that should be the end of that guy. And impact, but it hit behind him. Uh, it hit a tree or something behind him. I don't know what happened there. Did you see that? There was like a triple A position there as well. Some sort of technical. Alright. Same guy. The uh, obstruction you just saw in front of the TGP, that's my own wing, my own weapons on my wing. TGP is just trying to look over at him and I keep obstructing it, keep masking it with my own wing. So I just got to bring the nose around, get a nice clear look at that thing. And we want to set him as a sensor point of interest. SPI, get the uh, Maverick selected, slew the Maverick on. Okay, Maverick sees him. And Maverick away. Rifle. That one should hit him for sure. I have him targeted perfectly. Look at that. It's right on top of his head. Alright, impact. It hit a, the pole in front of him, but it still killed him, so... That's fine. He still died. Alright, I don't know. There's two or three more targets down there. The air to ground is definitely tedious. You know, you gotta get it just right. Gotta learn the little nuances. Alright, we have a Mark 84 2000 pounder selected here. I'm gonna try to drop this on a BMP, far left BMP. Wanna drop it right on top of his head here. Uh, wait for the. There it is, solid line. And pickle. Although it was right behind him, but it is a 2000 pounder. And that's him actually shooting at me. And there it is. That was him shooting at me. <laughs> He's now in another dimension. All right. Oh, and there's that AAA position again. He is not happy. And there's another guy down there. So there's two more guys in there. So we'll come back around. If I was those guys, I would just be quiet after I just watched one of my buddies get a 2,000 pound bomb dropped on his head. I try to pretend like I'm dead too. <laughs> Alright, one more 
2,000 pounder. Actually, maybe we'll just gun this guy. Yeah. Let's take him with guns. That little diamond is showing me exactly where he is. I have, that's the TGP marker. Ooh, yeah. Oh, so much 30 mil. That guy's dead. <laughs> that guy's very dead. Absolutely lit him up. Oh, we got hit there. Wing tip. Took some shrapnel. Luckily, the A-10 doesn't care. Everything's good. No problem. All right, and that's three of the guys gone. There's one more guy in this little park area in the middle. One more guy hiding. Oh, hello. Hey, buddy. Starting to get dark out here, too. Got him. Okay. Point of interest selected. And uh, we'll hit him with a Maverick. What do you say? All right, let's come around. And that'll be the last of the guys in that little pocket. Completely clears that out. Clears the way for advancing troops. All right, uh, Maverick sees him, TMS up, and rifle. And that better hit him. That's definitely on target. I had that set up perfectly. Splash, okay, or shack, I should say. <laughs> all right, that's all four of them. That pocket's clear. All right, let's go see what else we can find. All right, well, it is getting dark. Maybe we can put on some night vision. What do you guys say? If I can find it, there it is. All right, <laughs> all right, whoa, that's really bright. Turn that down a little. Nice. Uh, what do you think? Do we need it? Or is it too bright still? I don't know. It's The sun is going down very quickly. I think we're just going to switch over to night vision. It's that little critical period where you can't decide if you need it or not. It's just... But I think we're just going to throw it on. And a lot of the resistance down there is mostly gone, it looks like. It's fairly clear. We'll find more though, I'm sure. Turn up the uh, gain on those night visions a little bit. Just kind of loitering here, waiting to see if we can find any contact. Oh, we got some tracer fire here. That just look like small arms though. Not much I can do about that. I mean, that's just in the middle of a city. Like, what am I gonna do? Come and like drop a 2,000 pound bomb on the guy? <laughs> I'll just have to leave that for the infantry. They'll have to sort that guy out. Um, I say that, you know, I did just put a Maverick into that other building, so. Uh, let's scan this area. I kind of... I wonder what... This is the one area where I saw some movement, but... We didn't come back around for it, but it's worth a scan now. Not a whole lot of anything in there, really. I just see buildings. But it's often where you think there isn't anything. Somebody's hiding in there to ambush. We can just find... Look at this. Would you look at this? It's a BMP trying to hide under some trees. And he's probably waiting for friendly forces to come by. So that's unacceptable is what that is. So we're going to go ahead and uh, dive down on him with a 2,000 pounder. Drop this thing right on top of his head, hopefully. He's in that little farm field right there where the wingtip was pointing. I'm going to dive down. If I learned anything from my Stuka days. <laughs> you just put the wing on him and then you dive down on top of it. And that actually worked out pretty well for me. And that little diamond, once again, that's the TGP that tells me exactly where he is, theoretically. Pickle. Hold up. Hold up. 
and I feel like that was a pretty decent bomb drop. Ah, uh, but it falls way, way far over. It went behind him and to the left. Or to the right, I mean. That's not good. We'll have to come back around. We'll grab another 2,000 pounder. We still got one more. Okay, gonna get this right for sure. Last 2,000 pounder. Don't want to waste it. Got to get that CCIP right on top of that diamond. Wait for the solid line. CCIP, once again, is continuously computed impact point. Okay, pickle right there. I'm pretty sure I got that one correct. So... Good day to you, sir. He's gone. Yeah. Alright. Cool. Oh, tracer fire. Not sure where that came from or if it was even at me. Okay, let's just scan that farm field again. If there's one guy in there, there might be two. A lot of smoke, though. That was that. That's just the building. More buildings. Those trees look like people almost. Still nothing. Farm field is actually looking pretty clear at this point. There's the wreckage of the other guy. Look at this. What's this? Right in front of him. There's another guy. What is that? What is that? Oh, it's a T-55. That is a T-55 right in the middle of the field. How has that guy not been spotted yet? I feel like our armor just went right around that little pocket in the field there. We'll take him with guns. I can't see anything at night. <laughs> Come on, come on. There we go. Oh, that's gonna be nice. Lots of hits. Pull up, pull up. And he didn't die. How did he not die? Uh, dude, that guy got lit up by 30 mil. How did he not die? He's just indiscriminately firing. <laughs> He's so dazed, he doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> just firing into the sky. <laughs> Alright. Taking some tracer fire here. Trying to shoot him through smoke. I actually hit him in the back of the head right there with 30 mil. Right in the back of the altitude, turret. Altitude. And almost got greedy there. Well, I did get greedy. Lucky to pull away from that dive. Come back around on that guy. Alright, I just want to kill this guy so I can go home. But he is proving difficult. Uh, he's looking away it looks like. So I'm actually just going to dump a whole bunch of 30 millimeter right into the back of his turret. There we go. Oh, yeah. Okay, he's dead. <laughs> if that doesn't kill him, then I have no idea what would. But that guy is dead. Oh, we're going to pop some flares, and it's time for us to get out of here. Alright, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.